Pilots, I think you'll recognize our next guest. She's a two-time gold medal winning bobsleigh pilot who's now dabbling a little bit in mixed martial arts. But Kaylee Humphreys would not be the inspiring athlete she is if she hadn't had the chance to participate in the first place. That's why she's teamed up with the Red Ball Campaign. It's a month-long venture to raise money so kids can get active. Really nice to see you again. Welcome nice back to the to show. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. You know, this really, I started to really think about this. I have a four-and-a-half-year-old daughter. Yes. And luckily, she's in a position where she can be engaged and involved in sport. But as things get scaled back in school, you think about kids who do not have the opportunity, and where does that leave them, right? You do, and it totally does. And the financial side is hard. Sports are fairly expensive to get into. For schools, for parents, a lot of things. And I've been really fortunate to grow up, and sport has always been an outlet for me. It's, mm -hmm. I've had access to it, and because of that, I've been able to grow and develop into who I am, physically, but also mentally, and the social aspects of sport. And so, I mean, through Sport Check and the Red Ball campaign and, and Jump Start, it's about giving those kids a chance to get off the sidelines and, and into the game. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about what this campaign entails. So basically, whole program, the whole premise is, again, about getting kids off the sidelines, kids that wouldn't financially necessarily be able to, and, and allowing those opportunities for kids to grow socially, physically, um, in all aspects, and, and getting them involved and active in sport. And through sport, you can develop so many different skills. And so... And that's the thing, right? It's like, I mean, you are an elite athlete, and that's, yes. that's your trajectory. But for other kids, it is a way of getting them socialized, of getting them physically literate. You know, there's so many benefits. There's right? so many benefits. Again, on the physical side, just being more active. Um, but more importantly, through goal setting, and there's a whole list of, of things that sport really teaches you. And so, most important thing is just, I mean, building that next future of Olympians that, due to financial restraints, sometimes aren't able to. That, um, you know, we really just, kids and sport is a really good thing. And you're going to be leading the charge heading into some schools, I understand? Yes, we're heading to one today in Calgary where we've got a, a surprise leader today for one of the schools, and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Talk about where you started, because you were given the opportunity to engage in sport. When do you recall getting getting into any kind of uh, group sport? Group sports, yeah. yeah. Um, I started in sport when I was seven. So sports has always been a major part of my life. I grew up ski racing, mm -hmm. and that was my first real big competition aspect. But I played every single type of sport in elementary, junior high, high school, from dodgeball to volleyball to basketball, every single type of sport that I could possibly do. And I've been very, very fortunate. But not all families have no. that opportunity. So Jumpstart really coming on board and allowing everybody that opportunity, most important thing. And this is the goal here. Now, we mentioned yes. in the intro you've been dabbling in MMA, yes. uh, doing a little bit of work in Quebec City. Tell us about that. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It's, um, it was really cool just to meet a whole different aspect of, of athletes and a whole mm -hmm. different genre. And so it's, again, another sporting aspect that hopefully will allow me to grow and to learn as, as a person, as an athlete, and, and really challenge myself in different ways. I, so what, where do you see yourself with this? I mean, I know I read that you, you're going to sort of incorporate it into your training routine to some extent, um, but is your goal to really to get there in the ring and compete? Um, that far, I haven't gone that far yet. I'm not sure where that's going to go. Not 100% sure, but it's definitely, I'm going to incorporate it. It was a ton of fun, but there were definitely aspects to it that I think just explosive power speed, and, and it allows me an outlet, and it allows me something that I can be very passionate about and change it up a little bit. And I'm sure you're still basking in the glow um, of, of the 2014 Olympics and your gold medal win, but are you looking forward to 2018? I am. So taking it year by year, there's a lot that's going on, um, but definitely, you know, keep going. I'm, I'm not ready to, to quit and retire and still having fun. Sport's still a big part of my life, always has been. I've been very fortunate, always will be, and um, now it's about, you know, really inspiring the younger generation. Well, you certainly do just that, and really nice to have you on the show once again. want to let you. people know, uh, to support the Red Ball campaign, you can go to Canadian Tire Sport Check Marks and Sports Experts locations across the country. It's a countrywide initiative. For information and links, head to breakfasttelevision.ca. Kaylee Humphreys, come back anytime. Thank really you. Really nice to see you. We're